An investigative reporter in Las Vegas was found stabbed to death outside his home on Saturday morning. And today, a bombshell. Authorities are searching the home of an elected official in connection to the homicide. Jeff Gehrman had worked at the Las Vegas Review Journal for the last 12 years, after more than 20 years at another paper in the city. During that time, he exposed the mob's influence in Las Vegas. He uncovered corruption in the city's convention and visitors authority and had a story published around the world in 2017 after the mass shooting at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Gehrman had been writing about alleged corruption in the office of Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis. In May, Gehrman wrote a half dozen current and former employees interviewed by the Review Journal are alleging the hostile work environment was fueled by the elected administrator of the office, Robert Tellis, carrying on an inappropriate relationship with a staffer. Tellis, a Democrat, wrote a response on his campaign website referring to the Review Journal as a local right-wing paper. Writing of Gehrman's article, it was so ugly that you almost had to believe it was true. I can understand why you might have with the writer's skill at pushing buttons. The top assistant in Tellus's office decided to run against him in the Democratic primary in June and won. Tellus finished third. Then the reporter, Gehrman, was found stabbed to death on Saturday morning. Las Vegas Metro Police released video of a suspect and say the person dressed similar to those wanted in a burglary ring in the area, but the suspect is not part of the ring. A vehicle found at the scene, a maroon GMC Yukon, a similar vehicle is registered in Tellus's wife's name. Today, police searched Tellus's home and were on the scene for hours, police confirming it was in connection with Gehrman's killing. Wow. Meanwhile, those who knew Gehrman are remembering him as a fearless journalist. Review Journal executive editor Glenn Cook saying it's hard to imagine what Las Vegas would be like today without his many years of shining a bright light on dark places. Joining me now is someone who worked with Jeff Gehrman for six years at the Las Vegas Review Journal and who knows about this investigation. Their investigative reporter, Arthur Kane. Arthur, thanks so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Our condolences, of course, to Jeff's family and to everyone at the paper. Uh, before I ask you about Jeff, you know, this has taken quite a turn. Do we know where this investigation stands right now with regard to TELUS? Um, no, not much more than you reported. I mean, we know that we initially thought it was a robbery gone bad. And um, last night or yesterday afternoon, they released this truck, which ended up being very similar to one parked in the garage or in the driveway of Mr. Tellis. And this morning they went and, and searched his home and searched a search warrant on Jeff's home. So um, that's as much as we know. I mean, obviously Tellis hasn't been charged or even arrested, but... Um, he isn't saying anything, so I, I, we don't know what's going on. Tell, tell me about that video of the person in the hat, et cetera, that it's the clothing matches someone involved in some sort of burglary ring, but they're convinced that that person is not involved in the burglary ring? Well, the, the issue with the clothing is it's very, very uh, common in, in, in Vegas during the summer, people who work outside will be dressed like that. In fact, my editor and I went to Jeff's house yesterday and I think we saw three people walking down the block dressed similarly. Hmm. So that clothing is, if you want to fit in with the neighborhood and no one take another look at you, that's what you're going to want to wear. Interesting. Um, tell me about some of the stories that Jeff was working on. I mean, did people immediately wonder, could this be one of the stories that Jeff was working on because he's been such a hard-nosed investigative reporter? Well, I think that was in the back of at least our minds at first, but you just don't think of this happening uh, to a reporter for writing basically the truth um, of what someone may not want him to write. Um, at least you don't think of it happening in the United States. Um, but, you know, the story with Tellus he worked on, he and I worked on a series of stories about the um, coroner's office that had a lot of problems in it, similar to what the Telus's office were. And um, obviously, I guess if you're not making people upset about your stories, you're not doing your job as an investigative reporter because you're not doing the kind of hard-hitting work that we do. And so um, we knew Telus was upset, um, but 
we have no idea if, if, if he took it a step further or whether it's going to go back to just being a, um, a robbery or something like that. Yeah. I've only got 20 seconds. How's his family holding up? I assume this has been incredibly tough. Yeah. I mean, he's, he has no children and no wife, but he's very close with his siblings who all moved here um, to be around him. So I suspect that they are um, distraught like we all are. I mean, the whole newsroom is, is taking this pretty hard. Yeah, I'll bet. Um, all right. Well, Arthur Kane, thank you very much for taking the time. I know it's not easy to, sure. to talk about this both as a journalist and then also as a friend. And so I, I do appreciate that. That does Thanks. it for us tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.